Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And it is movie night, and this week our movie chosen by the good people at patreon.com slash blindwave is Avatar. Yay! The blue people one. <laughs> the gang! <laughs> No! Why? <laughs> we should watch it again. <laughs> we should. It is not Avatar The Last Airbender. It is not that terrible movie from N. Night Shyamalan. It is not the upcoming Netflix series that I'm actually kind of excited about because of its cast. It is the Blue People one. Blue Kitties. Blue. Did anyone see this in 3D? <clears throat> no. Back in no. The day? Me either. I, nope. Uh, it I got really this. big because of the 3D. And I didn't. I don't, did we have a 3D theater at that time? I don't think we did. I just went and saw it 2D I think in the theater. Was. That's it. That's all I saw. I'm pretty sure the mall has a 3D. Um, yeah. It's the... I don't know if it did. They do now. But... Anisotropic but it's, or it's, whatever. Yeah, you need those glasses. Yeah. That is to say that us three have seen this movie. I've seen it once when it came out. 2000, what, 9? It's a long time ago. It's 2009. Aaron, you haven't seen this movie? No. That's why it's a reaction. It wasn't on my list. It wasn't I didn't on your understand. List? Like, I'm like... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I never went to saw it. Sure. It was supposed to be in 3D. I haven't watched 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. I'd watch that in 3D, honestly. <laughs> I <laughs> would see too. Rock and roll at you. But no, I don't know. Uh, I know it's blue people. Yep. I think that there's like a, a like a military or a general, and I think they're on like a like Pantora. But then I said that the other day, and I'm like, no, that's Star Wars. So I don't know what. Pandora. That. Let's watch. One's the box. One's not. I think we're watching this off of Amazon. Prime. Amazon Prime. <laughs> Uh, which you can too if you have a Prime account. Uh, you can sync up uh, our full length reaction with this if you want to stick around for the whole like plus three hours or whatever it's going to be. It's going to be a long time. We're going to have a lot three of Three hours of blue people? Is it three hours? It's like it's, two hours and 50 minutes. It's like two hours and 50 minutes. Yeah, let's not exaggerate, people. Okay? Okay. Uh, so, You're exaggerating still a little bit. It's two hours and 41 minutes. Fuck. I am a hypocrite. But uh, I'm actually excited. I haven't seen this for a long time. Yep. I want to come in with fresh eyes. It's going to be like I'm reacting a whole new time again, except yeah. I know kind of what happens. Yeah. This sounds long. There's an actor in this I absolutely love. Who? I what? love it. Love it. This sounds long. I'm going to go pee before we start. Okay. Wait. According to James Cameron, the Navi are blue to create the conceptual parallel with traditional Hindu depictions of God. Also, James likes the color blue. Hey, full length. We're back for the blue people movie. Well, I'm looking at something. Director James Cameron was known for being tough on set. Allegedly kept a nail gun on set that he would use to nail cell phones that had the misfortune of ringing to a wall above the exit sign. That's hilarious. Above the exit sign. Yeah. That's so, like, poetic. It's back when cell phones were $50. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm <laughs> Picture like... <laughs> Imagine like arriving on set for the day. There's already like five up there. You're like, fuck. I better <laughs> silence my phone. <laughs> Did they ever come down? Or were they up there the whole time? I like to think that there's like a hundred up there, and they never like. And then you bought the set and took it home. Used a chainsaw it. to cut the wall yeah. out. And it's in your contract. Choice. Like if you piss him off, he is allowed to take your phone. You probably just put him in a Ziploc baggie and zip like nailed the Ziploc baggie up there. You know what? Really I should have used to have a bunch of fake phones that look like phones, but they were yeah. always off. Kind oh, of yeah. Thing. yeah. It'd be great if you like took them, but always had like a duplicate. Yeah. And just like, just it's, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like when you hire someone just to be fired on the first day so that you can assert authority. Yeah. You have a fake phone that you take the phone to destroy. Like they know that they're being fired? Yeah. Okay. Like literally, you, you hire someone just to fire them the first day. So gotcha. everyone else is like, oh my God, we can't screw around. Like they do that on films too. These films are weird. We should have done that at first day. Jake was here. What year is this? Well, we should hire someone else. Okay. All right, let's hire uh, Jake. And, should all be uh, set John. up and everything. Subtitles. Uh, 20th century films. So Disney owns this now. Yep. Like Jingle All the Way. The crossover. I watched Jingle All the Way. The first one? Yeah, it's been a while. I need to watch the second watch one. Me too. Reading class, five years, nine months, and 22 days. Five years, like almost six years. Do you age or are you frozen? Assuming you're just frozen. Both. Like, why would your aging stop? You're still five years older. Yeah, but your cells are inert. Aaron, they're in space. So you're saying that if, if it said you were 21, you couldn't drink? It's like the blip. Yeah, but that one, like, you were gone, you just showed back up. This is like you lived through those years. But Pandora. Pandora. That's a really cool shot. It feels like a James Cameron shot. I don't know why. I like the uh, spaceships because I feel like our shuttles we have now is just yeah. a little bit more, more science future. Yeah, a little bit more jetty. You know what I mean? Like rather sure. than spaceship. 
the heads and stuff look really cool. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. heads are really cool how you can, like, sweep them out of the way and stuff. I think people sometimes, like, just dismiss how amazing the world building in this is. One life ends. Another begins. What's his name of this actor again? Worthington? Yeah. He was in the Wrath of the Titans, wasn't he? Yeah. Clash the Titans. What happened to him? Sam, Sam. Worthington. That's right. I'm waiting to, okay. Man, I'm waiting to see if this guy's paralyzed or something. Because, like, he's been sitting down. Don't tell him what he can't do. Well, they had the line of, like, you know, step into his shoes, uh, so to speak. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think he's paralyzed. If there is a hell, you might want to go there for some R&R. &R. He's a live-action small soldiers guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's so scary, you can see. That's rule number one. It's nothing like an old-school safety brief to put your mind at ease. Damn it, I missed the first rule. <laughs> what time is, is the, it now? Is that the don't breathe guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like, he's scary because he's this way if he can see. <laughs> huh. So he's close enough to his brother's DNA that he can use he the, one the, same control, genome, the, the one they grew for him. The avatar. Huh. Okay. Significant investment. There it is. They're so big. Why does it move? It's alive. It's going to Weaver. How's your not being? This is Jake Sully. Does, does he know yeah, Navi? I know so that's unlikely. Here tomorrow, 0800. Try and use big words. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're here. Unobtainium. <laughs> Great. Man. That's exactly what a corporate person would do that. Justify all that money, you know? Yep. This is unobtainium. Yep. You have it. <laughs> that's how hard it is. 20 million a kilo. That's like a video game mineral name. Or something, you know what I mean? I mean, that's what a corporate guy calls it, so he can justify all the money that he's, you know? I guess. That's your rough draft. Real game. fucking hard to get. That's what we're going for. You just never think of anything better. Hard to find him. MacGuffin. Give me money. -um. -um. You can't afford him. Whoa. It's like a flashlight. <laughs> for your whole body. What's going through your head? Maybe our sick doctors tell me what I couldn't do. Tell me what I can't do! Is that gonna be like his motto? No, that's John Locke's motto. Thus, yes. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, right. I wonder if the avatars can like... Like, have their own mind, or if they... Like, can they evolve and be a real thing? <laughs> can they be a real boy? You can fucking fill us off over here, you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is it to be a man? <laughs> He's so big. Yep. Sedatum. Sedatum? Oh, what is he doing? He is like a... He's like one... What, what she was worried about, right? Like a gun... Whatever, right? He's shooting a Maverick. Thing. Fly boy. That guy has to run after him. He's not used to it either. He seems to be adop adapting fairly quickly. He's probably thought wow. of... Wow! Nothing. Thought about this, like, forever. I'm know? walking here! Grace? Well, who'd you expect, numb nuts? <laughs> I don't need that. I wouldn't just bite into it without asking what it was. It's an egg <laughs> filled with poison. <laughs> right? I, stand for I sure. don't know. I figured Sigourney Weaver would be like upset. What the hell? What was that? It's in the bend of their hair. What? <laughs> she what? said don't play with it. I thought it was just hair. There's shit living in it. <laughs> Fucking tentacle shit. Does someone make giant clothes for them? Yeah. Mm. There's this giant Stanford shirt yeah, on like, Grace. Did, they ha did Stanford make that or did they... Like they license. brought it because she wanted to wear her Stanford shirt. Does she have a giant lab coat and giant cigarette? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't move again. Man, that sucked. Hey. Yep. Letty. Little Vin Diesel. <laughs> That's uh, this guy that makes Daredevil suits. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, Potter? Yeah. Mr. Potter. You can probably operate one of them robots, though, right? I don't know. I wonder how they operate. You yeah. might need pedals. Their legs you might, might, yeah. You, you might sit on a bicycle seat or something. Seat Jesus! It is a pretty cool scar. It's it's not so deformative, but definitely makes you look like a badass. The good scars are the ones that don't really damage anything important, but just yeah. give like an aesthetic. You know what I mean? Like, they don't pull your mouth open or yeah. blind an eye or something. This is your avatar body. It's crazy to think that that is Ike from Tombstone. Yeah. That coward, you know? <laughs> that guy's Ike? Yeah. yeah. The the blubbering coward that survived for <laughs> The guy who always ran away? Yeah. yeah. Transformative actor. The real legs. 
How you get the legs back? They said they can rebuild a spinal cord. It's just extremely, extremely, extremely expensive to do yeah. that kind of stuff. He said that he couldn't on a <laughs> soldier's. How's it getting down? There's an elevator. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how we got up there. <laughs> yeah. That's up there. I knew they were like blue people. I didn't know they were like blue people controlled by people people. Avatar. Yeah, well, I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know why they were Avatar. Avatar. Look at these weird bird yeah. things. Oh shit, man. Yeah. Scary. They got teeth, teeth on their outside. Fuck out of you. It's a dangerous place. Man, imagine the size of those guns they're holding. I know. Because they're 10 feet tall. The size of the chopper. Rick, you know what? Predator, but in an Avatar format would be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could have anything coming at you, you know? I mean, like, that's what this is right here. To be fair, that's like an M60, but it's already that big. <laughs> and then he has, like, the guns and stuff. But yeah, she has, like, that kind of, like, yeah. I don't know, hippie bandana kind of thing where, like, I feel like she's more peaceful, but he has a gun. One idiot with a gun is enough. See? I'm trying to think of one of those other movies where it's like, all right, I'll take you in there, I'll guard you. Make sure you're safe. You guys can study what you need to study. And then all hell breaks loose. Help. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> the military guys die. It's just the reporters or the scientists left. <gasps> Alien monkeys. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Did he study this planet at all? Does he know what's around? No. His he brother did. I feel like he, he came here. You should have had five years to study that. No. He they, was frozen. They, they wasted so much money on the bro- wasted so much money on the brother. They was like, well. Bring him. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. I'm just saying, give him five years of travel, let him study Pandora later in time, get his PhD, instead of cryo freezing him. I wonder if the twin thing will have any effect on the control or anything of his body. Whoa. Great fairy. Don't mess with them, you don't know what they are. What if they look pretty and they eat you like a Venus flytrap? Someone's gonna eat you. I knew it! Jesus. <laughs> That's the opposite. It's kind of like fucking Alice in Wonderland stuff here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah! Whoops. Hammerhead straight out. Ah, How long in there? Oh. Make yourself big. <laughs> oh no! It's like Tarzan. It's got six legs. It should tire out quick. Is that how it works there? No, it, it uses each leg like 66% of the time. No, like we as an endurance hunter, we can run faster and further because we have two legs, while most animals have four. This one has six. This is Pandora, Eric. Is this why you always escape horses? Yeah. <laughs> Octopus never going to catch you. <laughs> really reminds me of Tarzan, except for the gun part. Oh, no. Well, we don't have to worry about the gun part anymore. Use your tail. To what? I don't know, whatever you can do it to. Dude, this sound like a T-Rex? It totally sound like a T-Rex. Man, that's hot. Yeah. You know what would suck if he landed and hit a rock and paralyzed his avatar? Oh my gosh. How long did it take to make this? Like, if he died, could he make a new one? Uh, they said it, it matured on the trip over. Yeah, so at least years. five years. So it's not an easy thing to make. Look at that water. Yeah, that's that's CG. That's water. It looks so good. Yeah, is it CG? It Everything is CG. Everything is CG. All of this is CG. Unless you see a human actor on screen, <laughs> it's CG. Only the humans are real. Well, I mean the sets and like the you know the, everything in on Pandora. Were here the weights real? Yeah. No, that was real. Oh, that was 100 percent real. Yeah. He is so strong. What the robot? <laughs> yeah. Real robot? No, it's not. But real. that water, man, it looks so good. Nice. These guys live in the wilderness now. Do the natives wear? <gasps> what? What? Clothes. What were you saying? Do the natives wear clothes? She has no clothes, so I'm assuming she's a native. Her hair's different. How many tentacles are in it? Is she gonna shoot him or shoot something that's looking at him? A uh, jellyfish. <laughs> gonna have to call it, guys. We're not allowed to run night ops. Colonel's orders. He's gonna survive out in the wilderness. The reason you don't do night ops. Yeah. The good thing is because they're so expensive. Gonna come back. From yeah, right. <laughs> this is the dude. <laughs> You're normal guy. Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. Just hire another guy. Is that like edible honey? No, it's like the things from Half Life Two. Oil? Did you? I haven't played Half Life Two, right? It just looks so good. That fluid physics. It's great. It's not a head crab. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, the best decision he made was making a handheld camera in this in this world. Everything's CG, and then they're just. They, they're literally tracking a guy with a box, you know? Oh, oh, man, what are those? Man, this world sucks. 
It's just Australia. Hell is where you <laughs> take R and R from here. They went to Australia to record all these noises. It's a good thing that that one shit was like oil. They tried to film in Australia, but everyone kept dying. It's like tree sap. <laughs> They're like laughing at shit. It's like a hyena. Yeah. It's like a monkey hyena. They even look like Resident Evil dogs or something. Skin like goes up over its teeth. Yeah, that blue girl can come help you. For being CG, it does feel like a natural camera. Yeah. Being like held and moved and real. And they have the actors doing the motions and a guy just filming them and taking all that information. I love how, like, even though it's scaled up, it still feels heavy. Yeah. Like, those things are as big as a human, you know? Even though they're smaller. Ah! That's really cool. Hell yeah. You have rave in the forest. It's like there's a black light on this planet. Just want to say thanks for killing those things. Ah! Oh, damn! You're like a baby, making noise, <laughs> don't know what to do. She went to English school. That's uh, Zoe Zaldana, Aaron's playing that character. Gamora hmm. from Guardians. Okay. You never see her face because she's a cat. So, just <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to do the reverse. I think it's easy to be like, ah, I yeah. can kind of see the human in that face. Definitely. But when it's like, I don't know who this person is. I'm sure it's modeled after her too. Yeah, it is. But she's driving the motion capture. You should not be here. The jellies. They look like a mixture of jellyfish and like the weird white stuff that comes <coughs> off trees in the spring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dandelion things. Dandelions. No. Quit smacking them. They're actually like piranhas and they just come Seeds of the sacred tree. They are like seeds. Ah. Oh. Man, everything's got six legs on this planet. Except for them. Whoa. Did that connect to the horse thing? Mm. What? Chuck, where have you seen this? Does it charge them like a USB? <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the carts at like Aldi? How you have to put the quarter in and then you pull the chain yeah. out? It's like that. <laughs> 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 horse. Like, does it let them communicate where they couldn't normally? Does it make them one? Does it... I don't know. There's a Pokemon that gets a mount and then it becomes one Pokemon. It's like two Pokemon and then it's one Pokemon. <coughs> we had a conversation like this in Ruby. It's like Slowpoke and Cloyster. Slowpoke and, uh, yeah, Shelter or Cloyster when it... And then it turns into Slowbro. But it can de-evolve if it detaches. It's holding his ponytail. With a knife to it. Made on long hair. Tests everybody like that? Are their face patterns all unique? The dots? The dots. I think so. Because the dots are the ones that kind of like glow in the dark too, right? Do they also have like a penis? <laughs> the ladies have boobs. They have loincloths. If he does have a penis, is because of his human genetics or is it because of the, the native genetics? The designers were like, they're not mammals so they can't have boobs. And James Cameron was like, no, they have to have boobs. People need to see them as hot. Yeah. <laughs> what? He insisted on the boobs. But they're not mammals? <laughs> so they say, yeah. Officially, they're not mammals, no. But they look so cat-like. Oh no, now he's gonna wake up. Hey! <clears throat> hey, quit, I'm busy. On, Don't do anything unusually stupid. Stick with the usual stupid then. It's worked so far. Do you think they were like, they were like, Wake up! Jake! <laughs> like they're just slapping him Jake! in the Shining a flashlight in their face. Or a, a light-up bug. in his body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forward. Oh! So when she smacked its butt, did he feel it? I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> what if you take his hair and put it in her hair? What does that do? The legendary floating mountains of Pandora. Heard of them? Nope. Now you have. Guess what they do. I wouldn't call these mountains. What would you call them? Islands. Fields? Yeah. Call them, yeah, like floating islands. Floating islands. They're not really mountains. What makes them mountains? They're a range. They're high, I guess. Which that, that little piece of thing floated, right? I'm gonna tell you. Well, it was also, it only floated on a thing. Why do they float? Science, bitch. <laughs> James Cameron wanted Keep them to up. look sexy. Do these mountains have titties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down there. Don't fall. The Shadowlands. Oh god, it's a bird. That thing's creepy. Yeah. Scary. Grand will fly with only one hunter in the whole life. Oh. It's like Skyward Sword. 
Well, what's he supposed to do now? Watch. Wait, wait until he's ready. Look how cool I am. Ha, <laughs> you suck. It is really fucking cool. And the Jedi fought on <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, what are you doing? They all leaves, man. Ah, son of man, look to... He'd be a really good platformer in the game. If I remember correctly, it was not great. Whoa. It's like he's... a razor chameleon. It'd be so easy to forget to care for your own body. Whoa! Hell yeah. Sky dancer. What the hell? Look at his spin. He's like, it's, ah, help! It's like a helicopter, but it's like he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like puffer fish don't want to puff. Yeah, they don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm distracting and you don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disoriented. So are you. You are ready. Ready for a bird? Ready to rumble. You gotta free climb up these ropes to these right. floating islands. Jump for the vines. Oh my gosh. What have you missed? You're dead. You're dead. Clearly. Oh my gosh. What if your vine gives out? I'm You're jumping, dead. I'm jumping for a cluster of like six vines. There's no cluster of six vines. <laughs> you gotta get up there in eight seconds or else it's over. I'll wait. I'll get there tomorrow. What if you could never climb the rope in gym? <laughs> <laughs> this is low gravity. There's no fat Navi. <laughs> Wrong. Great shape. Great diets. All the fat ones die early. You get eaten by those cat things. You just jump and hope you find one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you either pass or you don't. Oh man, wet rocks. Whoa, look at them all. What if they eat you? Then you're dead, Aaron. Everything kills you in this world. Yep. How will I know if he chooses me? He will try to kill you. What? Oh, this might be the one. Let's dance. Johnny Cage. This is the best thing you could have said. And you know it. That made the movie for me. Oh, connect your hair. Get your dongle. Oh Let me God. USB. Super position. Oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this guy. Back here, you. Catch, connect, like, connect, connect. Really like catching a Pokemon. You have to beat it first. <laughs> Your first flight seals the bond. Oh my gosh! Fly better! Ah! Oh, shut up and fly straight! <laughs> it's bonded. You're sitting on its nose. <laughs> or standing, rather. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, come on. You're cheering him on. Now, where's the stable that you store this thing at? Because that Pokemon. Let it fly. And then you call to it. They climbed a big ass tree to find hers. That's a stable. A stable. <laughs> it's not a stable. It's worth big ass trees are very unstable. No, they, they usually stay there <laughs> one spot for a long time. Big ass trees are more likely to fall over. Like the redwood. No dragon flirting. I'm gonna turn these dragons around. Let's just explore the rest of this planet we haven't seen yet. <laughs> right? Those ribs? Oh my gosh! What is that? Always a That one's fish. so colorful. Like a they're like parrots. Should have captured that one. I think it's a different species. Like out there is the true world. And then here's the dream. Hmm. So those are prosthetics and he's actually just He's actually kneeling up. down inside. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. And those are just attached to the front of his hips. Mm -hmm. They cast those off of an actual guy with atrophied, paralyzed legs. I feel like the legs were bigger before, maybe sure. just because the pants they had. It looked maybe. Ah, oh, those damn helicopter blizzards! Help! <laughs> they just ah! <laughs> They're just throwing up. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> like, why do they do that? <laughs> Keeps them alive. Does it? Why? Because people are like, wow. wow so pretty. Don't kill it. I'm not Don't hungry anymore. It. It's like the equivalent of taking off your clothes in a fight. It's like, well, damn. I don't All know right, motherfucker, want you want to go? Work? Come on. <laughs> I guess, but I don't think it would work for a lion. <laughs> He's like, mm, don't have to eat through that nasty stuff. Yeah, if a lion was chasing me, I'd just be like, and be like, does he control that, or does it kind of have like a mind? It kind of does it its own. You know, own. like, it's like instinct. It's like instinct. his tail. It just happens. You think they get infections in those? What if he gets cut off? I mean, that's like a lot of cultures, like cutting your hair is. Yeah, I know, but grow back. usually you don't have weird tentacle shit inside. Well, it would be yeah, like losing one of your senses, culture. I guess. Yeah, is that what it would be? Like, does it grow back? Can it heal? Is it gone? I don't know. If it's an extension of your senses, it's like 
nerve cells, right? Nerve cells are very difficult to grow back. Do you do they do this? <laughs> I guess. You know, like, <laughs> maybe something like is this a thing they do? Figured they'd use their hair. Yeah, I don't know. That's something else. It's more like uh, Sandra Bullock and Stallone. <laughs> they just sit there and connect their hair together and stuff. <laughs> That's all it is. Then there's a baby. So he's got five fingers. She has four. That's what you're doing right now, is counting fingers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was looking, they were doing this. I'm like, she only had four fingers. I guess you have your avatar has five because humans have five. But it's a combination. So he's yeah. got to like clean himself so, up, right? So you mean it's three and a thumb? Yeah. I wonder if they have different <coughs> toes. I haven't seen the knobby toes. Yet. That looks like a, a like a snail or iguana tail. Oh, uh, is the attack coming? Toxic love. Yeah, three months. Oh no, is she asleep? <laughs> He oh, just won't no, wake up. Bulldozers. She doesn't know why. Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh my gosh. Fucking eat your damn food. When was the last time you took a shower? No, I'm going. Ain't no time, Sigourney Weaver. Good coffee. He's gonna have to poop. Scale up. Yes. Enhance. Enhance. So who made it with this woman? Oh shit. Wait, how do you know? I was sent here to. Who's the negotiation? Oh! Do they understand how they work at all? See, man, in a false body seems pretty accurate. Sure. I mean, I think they understood from the school time. I thought they understood from the beginning, yeah. but then he's like, look at this, don't you understand? I'm like, I thought we did. You just punched a cripple. What the hell's going on here? Oh, this fucking thing's. I know. Perfect Shut your limit. pie hole. Or what, Ranger Rick? <laughs> It's a global network and the Navi can access it. They can upload and download data, memories, and sites like the one you just That's described. crazy. And yeah, they said they could speak to their ancestors. They said about, yeah, talking to the ancestors. Can you imagine, like, there. going to a tree out, like, at your house and connecting to it to talk to, like, your grandma or something like that? Since a deal can't be made, I guess things get real simple, Jake. And just leave the unattainium unobtainable. What can you even do with this stuff? I'll do it with minimal cash. Make money. But what do you do with it? Why is it so expensive? Why is it so needed? I mean, it, it does something. It's like some kind of anti-gravity rock. Or... I mean, it's like blood diamonds. Diamonds don't do shit, you yeah. know, but we value them. Yeah, but so you just turn into jewelry? Well, is that what they do with it? Use diamonds and electronics. That's true. And gold. Let me try to talk them out. They trust me. If we don't wake up in your throat slit. <laughs> or you're buried. <laughs> yeah. They're putting that shit on you in the hole. What happened to Norm? Norm had one. Why doesn't he get to be a thing? I don't like Norm. No one likes Norm? <laughs> that was like a pelican almost. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a lot more guns in the front. That is chunky. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ship is a gun. What are they doing? Are they trying to hold him hostage? I think the guy cares about the fake body kind of things. You know what I mean? Right. Execute him or something. I do like the concept of an alien invasion where we're the aliens. Sure, because of the Avatar, we get to be the aliens yeah. and the humans are invading. Not gonna do much. Switch in ten years. What? I really feel like you can't overstate how much work is in each little shot in this. You know, especially with the Navi and the environment. Like they had to just create everything. Nah, she doesn't want to shoot. You're just killing off a species. You know, it's not a war. It's genocide. Yeah. Oh no! Come down, chieftain dude. Each individual shot took an average of 47 hours to render. Yeah. 2009? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like 300 computers all at once. Like, it's not just your home being destroyed, but like you can talk to your home. You yeah. Know? It's like you got... There's a history. You're lucky it went that way, not towards all the helicopters. Yeah, so that's the side they were weakening, right? Yeah, you figure it would be like... Yeah. That's why you, you chainsaw on the side of it and then cut the wedge out and then run away. <laughs> Good work, people. Oh, Norm, damn! Damn, Norm. Where do they go now? Why are they in prison? <laughs> She's gonna hide him in that cart and smuggle him out. It's Samson 1 6, unauthorized engine start. Enhance, is that Jake? It is! Jeez! What the hell is on that gun? It's probably a uh, Mercury weight. No! Damn it! Ah, oh, they're taking the little thingies, okay. 
They don't need everything, they just need the things with the, yep. the things. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Something we gotta do. You're not gonna like it. That's the one guy that's like, I can't move on from you. <laughs> oh, what? Nothing attacks him. So why would he ever look up? He's gonna jump, jump down on him? He's played Battlefield. He's gonna try to bond with something else? <laughs> da, 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 da. Damn, its colors were so cool. I know. Yes. It's like a giant boa constrictor on its, it's like Fast and Furious. Whatever those got this sweet paint job. <laughs> <laughs> with the flames on the side. This is the sixth time it's happened now, right? He needed to do something big. <laughs> Can't do this without you. <laughs> Can! <laughs> Whoa, what's yeah. this? Are they all connected to the ground? That's neat. They said it's all one big giant network and this is like the, the hub of that. Yeah, but they're all like sitting there with like the little braids yeah. connected into the ground and stuff for it. It's cool. She's very weak. She's also stubborn. She can do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I like this like connected to the ground kind of thing. So this would be like kind of like a permanent soul transfer thing, I guess is what they're saying. Yeah. It seems like they're going to try to take her and put her into the... Everything that she is in this body. Now the body. Put into this body. Uh, it's like the link. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Her wounds were too great. It was not enough time. It's the link thing, though. Yeah, it had to go there and then come back. So she linked with the mind, but then never came back. Well, do it to your body now. Just be one of these people. This big thing is... This is our land! Oh, man! It's hello, man! I can fit like five of you guys on his back. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I want the song when Simba's running back to the Pride Lands. Want... It's kind of similar. I want that music right now. What about the other one? The other, the other one you bond with, there's like, ah, you don't get shit now. They, those things only bond with one rider, but obviously people bond with multiple things. But these things bond with multiple things. Yeah, but that guy's just like, what about me? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's back up. He's anything, Tork needs to be like, I have no free will! <laughs> <laughs> To the Akron people of the Eastern Sea. All these clans. Huh, I didn't know there were so many clans. Yeah. Genocide. Yeah. Jeez. Make some of these rocks fall on them. They don't, they float. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Man, look at that. If they all that. pile on top of one of those rocks, I'm sure they can make it go down. Man, he's got a gun. Funny he does. <laughs> Why would you put mid on the ground? I say the robot mech things are kind of cool. Fuck yeah, they are. They're like, dude, they got like the evil avatars. Years of war, like <laughs> chainsaw guns. Like, yeah. I don't think there's a chainsaw, but there's like a big blade on there. Like a bayonet. Can you just push some of those rocks closer together? It's not making them fall, but just we are gonna lose some pain sure. Here. They're out there. You can shoot them with arrows. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're better off not having people on the outside because they just had arrows and it wasn't doing anything to them before. You know, yeah, yep. just don't put people out there. Yeah, but they want to punish them too. They want there to be action in the movie, Kyle. Was that the Potter guy? Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't have a helicopter now, so he's just controlling a mech. He's in a mech, yeah. Man, look at all them horses. <laughs> and Norm? Yeah, Norm, get it! <laughs> attack from the air, attack from the ground. Look at them all! Just shit in their engines. Man, that thing's big. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you shoot the propellers. Whoa! Okay. They got some big bows, and these Damn are not at low angles or, or shooting up at them or anything. Yeah. Jeez, Angled like, armor is much more effective than. Let's go. Right on. I feel like these guys are at a disadvantage. Oh no. I wonder if it has force feedback or why he's doing this. Too much? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, those arrows are so huge. Throw a helicopter into the big blade, uh. the big one. Oh, those spears are so, so big. big! I know, they're like spears. It's like the Scorpion King's bow. It is. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. I don't think you're dragging that one down. Get that big colorful one. How does he know that's him? It's the big colorful one. How does he know? He doesn't know he's Taruk Makto. He hurts. Not, so in the, not here, right? There are no electronic instruments. Dude, that thing can't be that agile. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Drift! I don't know what her real name is in this. Got the oh, war paint! Oh, the letty. You're gonna break all the vines, you're gonna fall on your teeth. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. 
She felt the pain when it got shot, didn't she? Yeah. Oh! Take them all out from here, yeah. That's the thing, when they there get right go. next to them. And we can do here. Yeah. It's terrifying. It's like an adult killing children. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Anakin, the Jedi Temple. <coughs> oh, watch out for that one that's gonna shoot you. No! Sorry, they don't have carbon fiber skin. Rogue One is hit. Going in. Rogue, Rogue One. No, Norm. No, Norm. Well, that's terrible. Oh man, yeah, okay. I guess one thing too is like they're in here fighting, but like if they die, they still kind of have a second life. You yeah, know, yeah. Everyone, all the other people, the clans don't get that. Yeah. Oh man. We got movement 200 meters. Be ready. What all is that? A bunch of those dog rats? I don't know. Everything here oh, goes the, the hammerhead rhinos. Yeah. They, they will fuck you up. Yeah, they will. Where'd Armor's they too from, thick. Man? They're finally running away from the ash of the tree. The other here, another, you know. <laughs> Goodness for Hammerhead Ryan. This should have been your. This should have been the first line. Send these guys in. Johnny sins. <laughs> Even saying since the beginning, this whole planet will fucking kill you. So this is just nature coming in now. Yeah. Well, this is the balance and shit out. Yeah, but I love the idea of yeah. it's AWA, it's the animals, it's, it's not more clans showing up to help, it's yeah. just... Yeah. Well, the whole planet's a brain. The planet's like, you know what? Fuck this! Oh my gosh. gosh! I'm gonna eat you! The whole moon is a brain? It's a moon, right? Yeah, it's a moon. Yeah, the rat dogs! Fuck yeah, rat uh, dogs! Dude, those things are scary! Or the rat dogs! Uh-oh. Um, I'm on your side, maybe? Uh, let's, kill, let's kill some shit. Mad ride fresh. me. We wanna ride? Bond. Oh. Yeah, you need a new steed. Are we bonding? Can you bond with that? That'd be kind of cool. Look at him. Oh, man. man, Norm went out to fight again! <laughs> Norm is... He is a badass. <laughs> Jesus. Isn't a giant just killing you? <laughs> <laughs> with a giant gun. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Into the engines. Shit in their engines. But what if that blows up and crashes onto the tree? Okay. Oh, but it's... Oh, uh, going back in. Oh, that guy. That Bye. guy is fucked. Woo! That would suck. He ain't coming back. I would get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a big boom, right? That's an affirmative. You're not gonna be an avatar. Yeah, take this one down. What's up? <laughs> he just. What? Oh, oh no. Bitch. Oh no. Where's Turok Mato? Ah, oh, shit. Hold your breath now. You are on fire! Don't care, need to kill. He ain't got time to be on he fire. He needs a bird or something. Oh, no. Oh. Damn, man, that'd be scary. All them arms and feet and claws. Yeah, I like because they're bonded, that they can have the agency to attack the weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and like she, it feels like she's <coughs> moving and yeah. then it's attacking. It's like, that's her mech, you know? Yeah. Like, it, there's like nature versus technology. It's like she's slamming the reins and it's slamming the gun. No! And then she feels the pain. Damn it. I wanted him to have a new mount. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. I kind of hoped you'd say that. <laughs> oh, use his gun blade. Yeah. Brush her teeth. <laughs> that was a great shot. <laughs> oh, now you gave him a weapon. What's your plan? Just as long as I can kill him, Let's we'll both die. <laughs> Instead of long I'm still breathing, you're not breathing right now. So give up. Now you just gotta wait him out. It's about to be mutually assured destruction here. That's what he's gonna be going for. Oh, oh why didn't you just put that on? Could, oh. He was busy. You could just put that on and left the other thing on. Time to wake up. No! No, don't do it! Oh. oh shit. Alright. Wrong one, that's good. Oh, oh man, I thought you stabbed me in the neck. That's a big knife! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a fucking shot. It's a big arrow. Let's see if you got stopped, shot by a scorpion. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they're poison, too. They're poison, too? They've got yeah. neurotoxin that kills you in a minute. Two's not enough. She's gonna stab him too. So does, he, does that mean he dies in thirty Fuck seconds? He's getting shot twice. Warmir took three. They weren't poisoned. <laughs> they were. What? <laughs> they weren't poisoned. Thorakai arrows. Where's Norm? You should have stayed here, Norm. He's out shooting oh, he things. Fell on glass. Where's your puny body? 
the, the weak one <laughs> that can't mm-hmm. breathe our air. He's so tiny. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, like, the it's humans, so, are, they gotta be so, so small and, like, yeah. you know, like... Get off our fucking planet. The aliens went back to their dying world. <laughs> I like that line. Are they gonna transition him into, like, what they tried to do with Grace? It didn't work? They didn't have enough time for <clears throat> Grace. Like, she was too injured, but he's not, so they can do a full transfer kind of thing. Hmm. Bow, bow. Interesting bookends. Because they started with him opening his eyes. Mm-hmm. So I was like, ah, lost. That's what, that's what I thought of first. <laughs> <I'm lost. laughs> All right. That was Avatar. I'm trying to figure out what the one dude, the Parker dude was. Because I, I recognize him from some stuff too. But Which dude? Parker. The, the, like, the CEO. The guy, guy golfing. Like yeah. doing oh. putt putt. Oh. He's uh, Phoebe's brother and friends. Oh, that could have been it, maybe. Yep. There's something about him, like, man, who is this guy? He's a decent I feel like I know him from but, something, but yeah. looking, I was look, trying to look through, like, what he was known yeah. for IMDb wise. That's where I know like, him mostly. Man, from. I don't really. There's nothing that I've really watched. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I've seen the first Ted. That's where I know him most from. Ted? No, uh, Friends. Friends, okay, yeah. That's probably what it is, mm-hmm. most likely. No, it's, uh. Giovanni Ribsy. Yeah. I don't know who he is, but Friends is. <coughs> it's probably that. But no, I mean, there's 60 seconds. A lot of things. Oh, he is oh. in that. He is in that. Is he the brother yeah. that he's trying to save? I believe so. I think so, yeah. What'd you think, Aaron? <clears throat> Being this your first time watching? No, I mean, it's... I, I didn't know exactly what, like, I've, you know... There's, I knew it was blue people. Yeah. Some sort. I didn't know that there was, like, a... You're controlling, like, a fake blue people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. No, I didn't I know it was so. that. And there's a lot of comparisons with, like, comparing, like, technology and... Uh, nature mm-hmm. and like they have some similar things where like the uh, Stephen Lang guy whatever right like yeah. his his taking over the robot and you have uh, I can't remember what the girl's uh, n- Natiri n- Natiri is that Natiri. What? like her like she's controlling like the cat yep. kind of in the way that he's controlling like the robot mm-hmm. and they're fighting each other and stuff but then you there also have a lot of controlling like... the like the avatar and stuff. I think the movie does a good job and demands that you try to understand the sense of scale. Sure, yeah. The scale is definitely interesting. Like, I love when yeah. he jumps on the ship, uh, the the current chief in the time, uh, yeah. Sute. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, ah, just knocking yeah. guys around, just destroying them and stuff. Because when it's crazy. just the two Navi together in a scene, you, you know, you kind of lose that. We just, we're humans that think in terms of human <laughs> scale. So we see that scene as if they're... Six feet. Oh, it's sure. a little taller, you know? Yeah. But well, we were the, put there. The trees, the mushrooms, everything yeah. seems bigger and stuff. Yeah. The, yeah. Thing, um, the, thing, the thing I like to think about watching this was the concept of the giant's knife. Because they keep having blades show up in different scales as they're happening. Like, when it's the Navi with their knife, it looks like a knife to them. But then when it's up to the throat of a human, it's a sword. It was huge, yeah. But then whenever the mech has a knife... It's a sword to a Navi, you know? So the giant's knife concept is pretty cool. Yeah. To understand, the le- like, five different levels of scale. I really like, for the Navi, like, there's, like, this, like, Native American, African tribe kind of feel idea. Yeah. And, and there's, like, that, the nature, the, mm-hmm. like, I was thinking of, like, Black Panther and, like, what they do with, like, ancestor things. And they have to, like, when mm-hmm. he drinks the stuff, he goes to see the family tree and he sure. sees his ancestors and stuff. And, like, Native Americans usually have a lot more, like, spiritual nature kind of thing to it. And this kind of takes both of those and, like, connects it with, like, that you connect your hair into this and you're mm-hmm. connecting to, like, this nervous system of, like, nature. It's like a hive mind. And, like, yeah. And ancestor. It, it's like a connection to that nature ancestor thing. Yeah. And it's, it was kind of a neat idea. Like, I like them all sitting and connecting to the ground. Yeah. And being like, Iwa. It's like, like, like a brain. Save this man, yeah. Iwa. Like, it's like a church thing but it's mm-hmm. all in nature and I was like it's really kind of neat <coughs> yeah. like the aspect that they, they it's the concept that. of Gaia right of yeah like mother nature, <laughs> mother nature uh, being that yeah. is, is isn't good isn't evil is just it is you yeah know? Uh, but well, you can you can take that concept and apply it to evolution by natural selection there's no good decisions being made it just happens it just sure. balances out you have that when she saves Jake that first time and yeah like she's like almost doing a prayer for like having to kill this and like this creature didn't have yeah. to die but you know you, you mm-hmm. made me do this as your fault and it, it kind of also reflects to the idea of like you know Lion King talking about circle of life and you, know, like, you don't have to you, know, you kill what you need to and, and then it circles sure. back and you know everything lives in, I don't know there's lots of things and like environment comparisons and 
things being alluded to and whatnot that I think is kind of cool. Yeah, Maybe. environmentalists, like, they're coming through just digging, <laughs> mining, and destroying, like, what's around, and they want to destroy this big, mm-hmm. giant tree because there's unobtainium yep. underneath it, which I don't know what it's used for, but apparently it just costs a lot. There's a lot yeah. of money in it. Unobtainium and, is actually a real term in aerospace. Uh, apparently, I was looking it up. Like, it's people. A lot of people give a grief. Like, unobtainium. Could you be more creative? Like, no. That's what they actually call a resource that is so expensive that it's it, it it's worth so much, but they won't give it to us. They say that in aerospace, so they just borrow it's, that term. Yeah, right here. it's a term for a material that either would do a job of a alloy or something perfectly, mm-hmm. or it costs too much, or it breaks the laws of physics. It's so, basically yeah. like a catch-all term for like yeah. we need. A thing to do this while well, that's unobtainium. Gotcha. You know, I mean, literally <clears throat> MacGuffin. Like yeah. What we're doing this for? Sure. But like, just the uh, the idea they had with like energy's only borrowed, and then at some mm-hmm. point we have to give it back. Yeah. And it just kind of works with like the circle of life kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I sure, like a lot right? of like what the Navi's like, what their principles are, and like a lot of like what I feel like the movie has a lot of comparisons to like just technology versus like natural stuff. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of cool. It's really easy to separate ourselves from where we come from. Sure. In a way, right? It, and with that, too, there's a weird separation, which you mentioned during the thing, but, like, in the very end when he's, like, the aliens went back to their just, yeah. Yeah, destroyed the alien world. Invaders. You know? Yeah. And it's like, those are yeah. the humans. And usually you don't <laughs> yeah. have it. You don't normally have, like, ah, oh, we're being invaded by yeah. humans. This you is know? world of the worlds, just on the other side. Yeah, like, the aliens are the, the people that we're yeah. siding with. But also, like, technology is important, too, in this world to the sense that, you know, Jake and Grace wouldn't have been able to connect and become one with these people mm-hmm. had it not been for the technology and the, the bioscience that they did to make these avatars sure. or connect themselves into these tube things to be able to do all that, you know? Yeah. So there's still, like, a, well, technology is still needed, yeah. but then there's also, like, there may be too much technology or there's, like, not, not caring about nature and the environment, you know? Like, mm-hmm. there's, like, uh, I don't know. It's being a world of word, worlds. Like, I know at first they don't want to kill them because it's bad PR. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. I like, uh, secondly, it's, like, they're hubris. I'm like, yo, they have rocks and sticks. Like, they're not going to be able to do us. But, like, if they can make perfect recreations of their bodies, yeah. they should be able to engineer, like, a virus. Yeah. Or something to, like, wipe them sure. out if that's launch, what they wanted to do. Launch the gas that actually infects them with a the virus and kills them that way or something. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the initial way that they were coming in was like, I'll gas them, no one will die, it'll be okay. And that lasted for 30 seconds. And he was like, incendiary, burn it down. And I was like, Jeez. I don't think they make it explicit enough, but the idea is that, like, look, these animals, there's a pocket of them that we need them to move. Look all over the, the world. There's well, not, It's not genocide. We're just getting them out of this spot. And yeah. then they're amassing here, and we got to take care of you know? Like, they're just looking at it as if they're a an asset or a resource that just needs to move. It's so like, if, like, you go back, like, back to Earth and say, hey, they blew up their trees. Like, well, yeah, but they had, look at all these other ones. They're fine, you know? Yes. But we don't freak out it's when like we hear, a, like, a beast hey, some lions got like blown that. up sure. here. Like, well, yeah, well, we got lions everywhere. It's, it's more like, uh, it's more like when Which I don't agree with. you can say, like, okay, well, you only get, it's deer hunting season, you only get two deer during the season. Sure. But then, like, when it's like, well, we have an overpopulation of deer, it's opened for a longer period of time, or like coyotes can be hunted whenever, or, you know. Well, it's, 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 it's just like there's too many, we need to move these ones out. And, it's like real estate and housing. Like, we need to build some casinos here, so all these people that live here need to move. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of other places you can live. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But we're just going to use guns. Yeah. And bombs. That's a big old cool tree. It's, pretty cool. it's yeah. probably so big because it was feeding off unobtainium, un- whatever that does. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. There's n- good nutrients and stuff in there, I guess. I don't know. I like. Jake's path where he's like slowly like and I figured it's probably what was going to happen when he was like ah marines like I don't need another soldier or whatever and then he meets these like natives of the planet and starts to become one of them yeah Tarzan had that but then he went back you know Mm -hmm. to the like he started to become more human like and then he went back to the apes to protect them and stuff and but in this one here I I figured we were going to be going that route but yeah I like I like when he's like you know, this this world feels like the dream now, and that one feels like the real one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The lines are blurring. Yeah, where he's, like, not sure where where he should be and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I just picture, like, like whenever she woke up and shit was, like, trying to run him over, <laughs> you know? I was like, what, is it like that all the time? Like, when they went to sleep on those nets floating in the tree, mm-hmm. like, he was awake during the day yeah. as a person. Sure. Was she like, wake up, wake up, and just yeah. cut the rope trying to wake him up, and he's not waking up? That's why I was, it, there was, like, a... 
there was a line where I'm like, I'm pretty sure they understand how these things are working. Like they're they mentioned that they're like alien and that they're not them. But then later on, like he was like, see, it's a demon and a fake body, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. Don't they know that? Or is he like... I, I, I wasn't sure if like, They do, but I think it's a matter of... They try to match their sleep schedules as much as they can yeah. with the Na'vi. Yeah. But like it's, so that they can blend in. It's worldview, too. Like, you you can understand what's happening, but I can frame it in a way that is literally evil by using the demon inside. Yeah, you sure. Know? And my guess is that their day-night cycle is different than humans. So maybe, Possibly, like, yeah. like, they sleep... Frame longer like than it, a human does. It doesn't have to be 24 hours either for like yeah, the doesn't planet have to, to have night and day sure. or anything. But the one thing too, like say it was 24 hours, say they, they are only awake during the light because they were like, ah, oh, we don't, you know, nighttime's dangerous or whatever. But, uh... I mean, they're cats. They probably sleep 18 hours a day. I mean, maybe. But like... They're not mammals. If, he, if say his body goes to sleep at night and then he wakes up and now he's like, okay, now I gotta do my log and I gotta do this, like... Does his body rest while he's in the body? Well, well, his he, body does, know. but his brain doesn't. The brain's the most important yeah. part. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Like, when it's done, he's like, do I have to do this vlog? I need to get in the rack and get some rest. Yeah. yeah. So, so, like, he sleeps in addition to being in yeah. the thing. So, like, he he has, like, well, now I have human work to do, but this is when I should be mm-hmm. sleeping, so my other body is, like, sleeping. Yeah. But I need to sleep. So, like, it's got to be, like... like Doctor Strange, whenever he would study, like, at night, just... He let his body sleep while his mind is still rooted. He's got to eat and maintain both bodies, too. Yeah. 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 Sure. But that was one thing, too. Is like, I was glad to see them at least do the one hunting that they called a clean kill. Because it was so long. I'm like, do they eat anything? Oh, yeah. Like, we haven't seen them eat a thing. Like, a yeah. dinner, a feast, nothing. I mean, they have sharp teeth. They, they're carnivores. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. But I was just like, when are they going to eat something? Mm-hmm. The only thing we saw them eat was the one fruit that Grace <laughs> threw and Jake yeah. caught and took a bite of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like seeing more clans, too. This is definitely a... They, they built a world. Sure. You know, I understand, like, watching it, it's like, I, I like the movie. I think I like it better the second time I watched it, honestly. But I, no, I understand that the reason it was one of the biggest of all time, and people were like, this is amazing, and I'm missing out. It's like, I... that It looks amazing, but how good would it look in 3D, you know? Yeah. Sure. Like, because it's made every... Like, that's the advantage of, like, when I say, like, everything in this shot is 3D, they don't have to go in and rotoscope every depth. It's yeah. just automatically in there. Sure. So it's going to look like better 3D than any that, 2D stereoscopic 3D. I think that might have ever been one like. of the reasons I never watched it, was that, like, everyone was always like, oh, you got to see this in 3D sure. or IMAX 3D or, you know, whatever the yeah. case was. was. Like, this is how you got to watch it. And, like, I didn't have, we didn't really have that around here. Yeah. You had to go to Columbus to do that, and I didn't do that. And then when it came out on, like, Blu-ray and yeah. whatever else, I'm like, well... I didn't watch it then. Why watch it now, you know? Sure. <laughs> I just never yeah. did. Sometimes, because, you know, this was also the... <laughs> first movie to hit over a certain amount of money like it was very very popular yeah, it was huge right? like huge Especially in for terms theaters. of yeah. yeah because everyone was like you gotta watch it in and eventually I think what happens like in a you know, movie going society is that something gets so big and it's so praised that sometimes you look for reasons to not like it you know it's like wow it's too big I'm gonna like shit on a little bit so eh the 3D can't be that big of a deal but I never experienced it. I can only imagine it's pretty great sure you yeah. know yeah like there's a lot of I mean, like, the, like even without him, the visuals are the real selling point of the movie. Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Like the story, the characters, the um, oh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Damn, dongle, visuals, music, audio, uh, yeah, world building, okay. <laughs> music's okay. Yeah, world building, lore. Yeah, but it's kind the world of building is my, my favorite, but the design is my favorite part. I think everything at six legs. <laughs> oh, uh, the right. performances, performances, yes, yeah. are all kind of whatever. Yeah. but the visuals are incredible. Mm-hmm. Oh. You were listing off things that you liked, and then... Kind of like, yeah, I thought we were praising it. Yeah. I didn't know we were tearing it down. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have heard that, like, uh, like, well, it's just Pocahontas in space. I'm like, yeah, but so is... I mean, Last Samurai's Pocahontas in Japan, you I've know? That one like, either. there are 15 yeah. stories that we redo. Sure. Like, this is Pocahontas. This it's is very Dances with Wolves. This is Dances with Wolves. This yeah. is... Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed, this is, you know, the Avatar, the the Animus, like, there's, there's, every story has, like, well, you take that, 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 and that, you combine it, you made the story, you know? Yeah. So I, I get when people are like, well, I've seen this story before, it's like, well, yeah, but name a story in the last 50 years you haven't heard before. Sure. You know? The idea of, like, yeah, there's only so many, like, original there's stories. There's three stories that you can tell, and, and then there's variations off. on those. Then it's just a variation <laughs> of that original kind of story, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I get that. Though, of my of all of the like stranger in a new culture learns to appreciate the culture and fight back against his own, I think this looks the best, but I think Last Samurai is the best of those. Yeah, I'm down. Oh, so good. Have you seen Dance with the Wolves? Oh yeah, I love Dance with Wolves. 
Tatanka. I would do the entire. I'll, I'll quote the entire movie right now. But last Samurai. Last Samurai's real good. I haven't seen Dance with Wolves. I don't think I've seen little bits of it because my parents. I remember watching it yeah. when I was younger. Yeah. Because it had Kevin in it. Stands with fists. <clears throat> What? I mean, the world building, the, as far as visual wise, like I can imagine in 3D, like there's definitely some elements. I, just when they, they land and you start seeing all the stuff and that big wheeled thing comes by and there's arrows in the wheels, yeah. like, I imagine that in 3D, like just kind of like comes out. But it's Everything, not like yeah. it's not like the 3D back in the day where it's like 3D and it's like stabbing at your eyeball. Sure. Like, the, the, <laughs> like it's just kind of there and happening. The and 1,000 like cool. sky dragons flying, like what does that look like in 3D? Because they sure. were all at a different depth. And it's not necessarily that things have to come out at you, but no. it's that you can see. In, so yeah, you know, so you're, that's the thing. Is, you are inside of something as opposed to watching something. Yeah, yeah. as opposed to like, uh, you know, Captain America throwing a shield, you're like, oh shit! Yeah, you know? <laughs> but, Beginning of the DC shows <coughs> with the battering. Yep. Yeah. But no, I think visually, like, it was really cool. And like, mm-hmm. the, the more of like, you know, this is all just CG. There's like, I'm like, yeah, man, that's yeah. crazy that there's like, most of this is just like, the there's some people on like a green screen. 2009. You know, that's it. Yeah. And everything else is just a, a computer generated image. Yeah, 2009 like, is kind of crazy. I mean, crazy they filmed it like, in like 2004. It came out in 2009. It took like five years to make. They yeah. started doing like first pass script reviews and stuff in 2004, and he got approval from the studio and everything. And it took him so long just to get all the shots and everything. And then later, it took like a year to, to render everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he you did know? Titanic and he did this. What yeah, was, uh, was next? Let's see, this is 2009. Episode three would have been two thousand. Was that two thousand five? Was that two thousand five? Yeah. Was it episode three? Mm-hmm. May nineteenth, two thousand five. Dang. So two towers is what. I remember being able to drive. CG was ready. Because he he originally wrote the script and had outlines and stuff of what he <laughs> wanted to do in like ninety seven. Mm-hmm. But he knew that if he tried to make it, it wouldn't live up to his vision mm-hmm. then. So he waited. Sure. That long. Yeah. Like, was, like episode three has some really good stuff in it, but there is some moments where it's like nowadays, like eh, I can you know this oh, was sure. this was pushing it you know back Absolutely. then, but like this one here, I can see like well they took that from two thousand five like four more years, and just pushed a little bit more I feel like too you know yeah it's but, really only like the only like if I'm trying to look for a weakness <laughs> in, the, in the visuals here, maybe it's like the extreme close up fur of the Navi. Like, they would be able to pull that off way better than here. Sure. They know? can render it. Because now they can literally now, do not individual just the hair. Yeah. And they, yeah. I like the way they did the Navi, too, because they have, like, not... They're not human enough to be, like, at seems unreal, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes you get, like, a human face and stuff like that, too. This one has, like, just enough where it's, like, kind of human, but also alien enough where I'm not, like... I agree. ...taken out of it, you I, know what I mean? I, like, you mean, like, the Uncanny Valley? Yeah, like, like I feel like it, it gets some of those. I feel like it's point two up from the valley like there's a, there's a couple of times where I'm like weird <laughs> but there was a couple of times where I'm like no I buy that one it's weird when they're in the same scene with a human character yeah true like that that's when it weirds me out I that, think I think that the scale helped me with that but I agree that's the moments where I was like ugh but I think it's it is, it's worst and I, I say this in like a, a good way yeah but with Sigourney Weaver's Navi like because she has such a recognizable well, I know face, her face, you so see well. yeah. the her structure underneath of that like sure that lattice. And, I mean, sure. it's demanding that you compare her face and the Navi yeah. face. Yeah, it's not so much with Zoe Zaldana's. Yeah, yeah that's to say the actual Navi. I feel like because yeah. I don't have that. Like I'm comparing the actor to the mm-hmm. avatar. Like there's, I feel like there's less of that there. Where I'm like, oh, that kind of looks like yeah. Sigourney Weaver. I see it a mm-hmm. little bit, you know. But yeah, speaking of Zoe Saldana. They did 100% of all of her facial capture, motion capture, and voice performance all in one. Mm-hmm. Like, they captured it all at the yeah. same time. It took her a year to film all of her scenes. I'm sure. Just doing that. Yeah. A year? A year. So they're capturing all that stuff. They have it all in the infrared cameras. I'm assuming they're using infrared cameras. And then you can have a guy literally with, like, a box or a frame like track in the four corners and he can go in and he can film like you do a camera on the I really corner. like the you know that, the that's CGI, what creates the life like, I feel like the C- CGI handy cam kind of feel to it was yeah. good because lots of times like you know even in you know cartoons or mm-hmm. things that are like clearly like well there's no actual <coughs> camera for this yeah like it just feels like it always you, grounds you just, it more yeah it's just like a cinematic you're just watching things but this one here felt like you know, different times during the war and stuff too where it just kind of feels like yeah. they're in a combat it feels you know? like the just camera like, is on a guy with two feet and you can feel the shift of his weight as he yeah. like and then I look over here and then I look over here and I have to step here you know yeah. like 
when Clone Wars or Bad Batch would have those type of shots, it always felt like that's so grounded. Yeah. And this, like, like Umbara. you have to have it, or else I think everything fails yeah. if you don't have Umbara it. Like arc. The Umbara yeah. arc yeah. had some of those mm-hmm. shots that were really cool, mm-hmm. and I like those a lot. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, you think about, especially in, like, a lot of, like, war movies and stuff, they usually yeah. try to get, like, the more you're in the battle kind of thing, and that kind of adds to that a little bit more, where it feels like you're there, as opposed to just, like, here's a shot and you're watching it. It yeah. feels like you're moving through and seeing, like, Turning to war. And a big stuff. explosion happens. Sure. The sound cuts out, but the wine or whatever. Yeah, and they do those kind of things to make it feel more of like you're there and it's it hit you or you're you're seeing mm-hmm. everything. As and it, I, I like that a lot. That was really good. I try to like go into it, be like, what don't I like? I want to say like, well, I think the men are like the humans are too evil, but then like all of human history proves me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So, you're I can't really always say that. Yeah, there's no nuance to the villains. No, there's not. There's not. But, but you want to be like, surely there's like some more depth to this. But then you like you look up shit and you're like, oh, that happened so many times. I kind of wish that there'd have been a couple more of the soldier kind of people that were like, like Anna Lucia. Yeah, like yeah. like uh, I think her name was Trudy in this maybe or something like that. But yeah, Letty the yeah. Um, that that character's like, you know, I didn't sign up for this. I'm out, and she just leaves, and then she helps him escape. Yeah. But everyone else who was like against them were like the scientist people. You know, well, I mean, it wasn't all like, of those people. They said were ex-military, right? Like, yeah, they said, said like they're, all, all of these people were military on Earth, but here they're just hired. There's paramilitary, so they I mean they, you know, and he said like, I mean, he didn't pay attention, but like, I'm going to train you on how to survive this planet, and that is treat all of this like it's not like you're gonna die. There's no humanity here. There's just us versus Pandora. Sure. So. He hell will be your vacation for, after this place. Yeah. And he makes it sound so bad, but I wish it would have been. Which is a what couple. you do in a war zone is you treat you know you you train you your, the enemy. Yeah, you you make them the other. And sure. You can't hesitate destroying the other, or you're going to lose your battles. I mean, that's yeah. just how you train. Soldiers. No, I get that. I just wish like they had been like maybe one or two more or something that like would have been more on that side of like yeah. Letty, where it's like we're just shooting. Right. Like people are just here. They're not. They're shooting arrows at us, bouncing off, doing nothing. You know. Sure. Like there's no. Like. Yeah. Like it's not a war here. We're just—it's just murder. It's like using, <laughs> you know, like using a, a machine gun against kids with Nerf darts. Yeah, you know? I don't know. It was just, just like I—I I, I was glad that she was because at one point I saw her face and I was like, I feel like she's not into this. But also she just looks mad. She looks mad a lot in a lot of reasons. You know, it's like maybe maybe I'm reading into it wrong. And then she's like, I didn't sign up for this and left. I'm like, okay, good. Yeah, like yeah. someone's you know on that side. Of it. Yeah. And then that one guy was like, fuck, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And then he didn't have a helicopter because she took it, so he was in a mech later on. He was. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. I thought it was ancient. They called them dreamwalkers. Mm-hmm. That was a fun little nod to like, you know, what what's what's real, what's not real, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And sure. And that's like. I, mean, I don't know if it's the actual terminology, but it feels like Native American mythology. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, like a lot of the Navi, like I a felt like, like Native American tribes and like African tribes and stuff. Like I felt like there was like a little mixture of like those two things and like what they believe between like ancestors, natives, uh, uh, not natives, uh, nature, you know, yeah, stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. so like Dreamwalker really kind of feeds into that a little bit too. I think uh, I like a lot of their lingo and stuff. I wondered like. Their language, like, did they go in depth with like a language like? Yeah, something I don't know, cr- Klingon someone created and it. Tolkien yeah. and they you know, like language. they created. Is it a, a real language. language or is it more of like a? I mean, they made it up yeah. entirely. Sure, um, but, but they, it's, it's they did actually complete. create. Like, I think you can learn it. That's what I was like, wondering. They did actually com- like create like two thousand individual words and phrases and stuff. So. Sometimes you get like, well, it sounds kind of like a language, but when you really dive into it, it's a lot of like the same kind of sounds, and they just kind of add subtitles. But there's other languages where it's like you can learn Klingon or you can yeah. learn uh, whatever, it, it, and then you get other ones where it's like, well, this one was actually a language on Earth that no one really knows <laughs> that they're just using, or they're turning it backwards and using it in reverse or whatever. Uh, you know? Navi is an actual constructed language. It has a vocabulary and grammar. It was developed by linguist Paul Fromer. So they hire Paul Frommer, make us a language. Yeah, Dothraki, you know, like there's yeah. a lot of languages that people have made over the years, and I'm like, Elven. I wonder how much this is like yeah. fleshed out, I guess, of a language. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you just get like, eh, Utini, that's a Jawa. You know, I don't know. It's a, sure. But then you have well, other that's, languages that's in reverse, Wars. isn't it? Uh, the Jawaese is re- sometimes reverse, but uh, Ewok and Solace, a lot of, uh, it's just kind of like, I know the Solace little, one little, is another like, language on like an yeah. island or something, but. Iwakis is, uh, I can't remember exactly, Chaiwik or something like that, some type of language, but 
Yeah, like certain countries go and watch Star Wars. We're like, hey, <laughs> and they're actually speaking lines. You yeah, know? <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, the year was twenty one fifty one at the end there, right? So I, missed like, I missed it. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. video diary, I think at the bottom. Uh, the date was twenty one fifty one. Okay. I don't know how long I kept the trying entire to, movie was. Yeah, but. I kept trying to pick out like yeah. different times if if there was like yeah. a specific date. Well, but. he only had three months, right, mm-hmm. from when he like got there. Yeah, I think, you're so. right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, like with his hair and his beard, I was trying to think like how long did it go. But you're right, it's three months. I really did think that like if you got to send this guy five almost six years to get to this planet, like. You could have used that time to teach him the language and get him prepared a little bit, you know? Like, have him awake for two years. I wonder sure. if there's something about being awake during that time that in space travel that fucks with you. Like, Maybe. is everybody, is anybody awake? Well, yeah. Cause Maybe like, everybody's in When Cairo? he popped open, there was like a doctor guy who there was, was. Which I like the, like, it looked like he really floated down there and was like, mm-hmm. all right, you're okay. And he yeah. floated off and again. Yeah, but, it looked good. But like, in Alien, there's no one awake. It just, the system wakes you up. Yeah. yeah. But That's like, point. couldn't you just be awake for. Like, in that, like, she was like, all right, well, I'm going to go back into sleep, you know? And she yeah. gets back in there and closes the door back up. Like, could he do that where it's like, all right, I got six years. Let's spend two years prepping for what my mission's going to be. Well, yeah. I don't... That way I know the language. And I, I don't think the they knew that the brother was dead until they got there, though, right? Because they, like, opened the box and were like, shit. Mm, no. Because he got shot, right? what happened? He, a guy shot he, him for He his got money. shot yeah. right before he went. I think that the people on... Because they came from Earth. And they're going to, I think it's supposed to be like an Alpha Centauri or whatever. Yeah. So they're, another, like, I just don't think they can, like, call ahead and be like, hey, we're sending another guy. So that when they got there, the people in charge are like, oh, it's okay, it's a twin. But the people back on Earth made that decision to send him. I it, think. it felt like he was there. They were, you know, crem- cremating yeah. the body and stuff. And then there was some kind of military guys being like, all right, well, we'll send you to go do his, fill his shoes and stuff. And yeah. Then he went, but I figured they invest like, a billion dollars into this body. Yeah, it's like, well, we can't waste it. See if the twin brother will go. But I would have figured, like, I don't know, prepare him just a little bit. Sure. Like if you if you have a six year journey, take one year. Yeah. Learn a language. Yeah. You know, that's that, <laughs> that's your job. Learn this language on this trip where you get to do nothing but fly through space. Sure. You know. But then he got there and he was like, "What do you know?" I was like nothing. <laughs> they must have been there for years before English seemed pretty ubiquitous between. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Grace had opened up a school and had been like teaching them. Which I like the uh, pictures they had, where it was like her and the others, and a bunch of like schools. kid ones and yeah. stuff, yeah. where she's like teaching them. So like over, I don't know. Yeah. It could have been over those six years they were trying to teach them and stuff. You know, I don't in know. In uh, some of those pictures that you see of of her school, you can see in the background there's the Lorax, which is like From it's a book by Dr. Dr. Seuss. Seuss. Yeah, the but it's a commentary kind? on like man destroying nature to mm-hmm. like. You know, harvest all is the riches. Is it the Lorax or is it like a book of the Lorax? No, it's the Lorax. It's like you can see the Lorax in there? Yeah. I want to see it. Where is it? No, don't show them. <laughs> I don't even know where to look. <laughs> There's too many options. It was Very right long. after they got to the trailer. To, to floating mountains. Yeah. What, what is Trudy? What does James Cameron's Lorax look like? What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? Is it, wouldn't it just be the Lorax? I don't, years in the future? I don't know. Her cigarette the entire time, CG. The book she's holding right there, that book in that book. picture, is the Lorax. The Lorax. Oh, so it is a book. Yes. You lied to me. What do you what? think? Like they, like they cloned a Lorax? I, I, like, asked, oh, I, asked, asked, it, I asked, was it the book or was it a Lorax? And he goes, it was a Lorax. <laughs> oh. I said, that's why I wanted to see Lorax. it. I didn't no. even think that could I be an option. I didn't want to just see a book. What the when fuck? When he said that, it's like the I, Lorax, you idiot. We talking said, about? I said, it's a book by Dr. Seuss. You thought, I know. Picture. You thought they made a Lorax? I thought the exact same thing that Aaron thought. Yeah. What? It's ridiculous. Because you guys are dumb. I asked if it was the book. No, I asked you and you answered the question. I thought option. you said, is it a no. book like the Lorax? I, no. Or is no, it the like, literal book? No, because when, it's said, the book, when the you Lorax. said about the Lorax, I'm like, oh yeah, the book. You're like, it's a book by Dr. Seuss. I'm like, yeah, I know what the Lorax is. Yeah. There's a movie about it and stuff. But we by Danny DeVito. So I thought you were just like, the Lorax is from this. I'm like, oh. So I'm like, oh, well, so was there a Lorax? Or was it the book? You're like, it's the Lorax. And I was like, oh, I want to see this. I. That's why I was like, what is James Cameron's Lorax look like? I understand the confusion. <laughs> okay, I was like, that, what do you, you mean? mean that, it that, looks you... like the Lorax. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just thought, like, you know, we had all these crazy creatures. He put a Lorax in the background in the jungle or something, you know? No! I don't know what happened. Cal was telling me the story. That's a copyrighted character. I don't know. That's hilarious. That's why I was asking. The depiction of a book is okay. 
I'm, gl- I'm You know what? Your mind is so open that you thought that that's, that could be an option. Let's look. I want to see yeah, what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. Yet again, Aaron jumped to a conclusion. I didn't. And then he ridiculed me for it. I didn't. I, I asked and you answered. <laughs> I couldn't have jumped less. 75% on Calvin's side. <laughs> <laughs> you interrupted my explanation of what was on screen to ask a question, and then I tried to explain it from what I thought was the question. Well, I guess I'm, I'm the idiot. <laughs> when they had the clans, did they describe them in any other ways? I caught the horse clan, and then there was, like, the bird people clan. They said, was like, another one too? Uh, the clan by the South Sea or something yeah. like that. I just wonder if they all had, like, animals that they were, like, this is kind of, like... That they were affinity with? Yeah. Well, like, ours with the home tree kind of had, like, they had some horse people, and then they had some bird people and I stuff. I think they, but... they were affinity with the tree. <clears throat> they They, like, had the closest attachment to, like... Uh, the tree and the land and the ancestors or something? Yeah. Like, what's what's the Mother Nature's name? Gaia. Gaia? No. Oh, no, this one. The, uh, the real one, Eric. Ewa. 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 Yahweh. It's not Yahweh. I know. It's reversed. It's, <laughs> what? It's reversed. That's why I was confused. What? But I think because they have, like, the home tree that they're <clears throat> they're affinity with. Ewa. Right? E-Y-W-A is not backwards. Yahweh. Sorry, I remember it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name for their god? And then you reverse the thing, it works. What does it say? Aw, oh, ye. <laughs> I'm looking for a oh, Lorax in my, oh, in my statement. <laughs> what? Where's the Lorax? Where's the Lorax? Tell me. <laughs> oh, but, but no, I think it would have been cool like if you'd had, like, because that, the, like, the hammerheads, like, oh, you had the hammerhead clan, you know? Like, they, those guys come in. Yeah. That would have been kind of cool. I love those. And then when they all, love when they all showed up, I was like, oh, it's just more clan stuff. But then it was just... Nature, and I thought that was kind of cool too. Where like the planet's like, send more, yeah. I need help. Yeah, I was like, fine, they do this beginning. <laughs> if well, you had like the camera heads first, taking out the front line, and then the horse people yeah. coming in, it's a response, won. right? It's like they're like white blood cells. Like there's no like real decision making. It's just an, it's a response, right? It's I balance. So, yeah. It's the planet balancing things. Sure, I wanted those rocks in the skies to fall on their heads. That'd also be cool. Have sky rocks crush the sky people. Yep. Be great. But not looking up. No. Right? They're the biggest predator. Don't look up. I was hoping, like, because you're like, they float. They're not going to do that. I'm like, oh, all right, fine. But push them together and crush them. You know, like, that'd be cool, too. Like, have all of the, the bird things on one side of the rock, like, flap yeah. it as hard as they can. It's like Iron Man when he put the bow back together. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, like the end of our D&D campaign where the Warforged put chains around the meteors mm-hmm. and was just swinging them around. Oh. That'd be fun. No, I, no, I, I, I like the movie. I, I don't get, like, uh... I don't need four more. <laughs> sure. Like, I know that, like, it made the most money in the world back then, and then people were like, well, are we going to do more? And James Cameron's like, fuck yeah, sure. How many more? Four. Well, he has to wait until the CG catches up to his vision see, now. I suppose so, <laughs> but I, I guess I don't see, like, well, what are you going to say? That's part of the thing is, like, was he ever planning on more than this before, or is it just like, it did really well, make more, build on the franchise and get more money, you know? Yeah. Like, it does end in a good spot where I'm like, okay. But, like, Star Wars ended in like a fairly good spot where I'm like, okay, the rebellion could have yeah. won. We're good. Sure. But, but, he always had, but he always had more stories. Yeah, like, but he, like, this is like a small part of my bigger story. He had more ideas that he was doing to begin with. So I was wondering, like, did James Cameron have more? Where he's like, well, we're going to make more. From what I understand, he watched Pocahontas and then was like thinking, I've always been thinking about my alien world that I wanted to he do. He loved Pocahontas, Pocahontas so much that he wanted to cast the actress who plays Pocahontas in yeah. Pocahontas yeah. to play uh, the main girl here. The book. Yeah. No. Nateri. <laughs> Nateri, thank you. The Lord. Which, uh, which Pocahontas? Like, from, like... Uh, a, Disney, right? Like, from the, no, like the voice the live actors? action. Or, like, was there a live-action Pocahontas? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever sure? seen... I've never seen a live-action Pocahontas, I don't think. I have seen a live-action Pocahontas, I think it was, in... Almost Famous, was it? In something where it's, like, a Lewis and Clark kind of storyline. It was a Pocahontas. It, well, I don't think no, that one was. That wasn't a play, because Lewis and Clark, they're a play on Lewis and Clark. That's Saka Jawea. No. Was it on that? That's yeah, not Pocahontas. There's some Saka Jawea went with Lewis and Clark. On what? In, 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 in almost famous. In, in, like, in, yeah. in life. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Saying. In history. No, I feel like there's some story where like there was a Pocahontas in a movie. I can't think of what it was. That was gotcha. the first thing I could think of. I'm like, oh, there's Native Americans gotcha. in that. But I don't know what it would have been. But it wasn't a Pocahontas movie. Mm-hmm. It was just, there was Pocahontas in it. Gotcha. I don't know what it was. I thought it was inspired by, like, Tarzan books. Who went with uh, Chris Farley and Matthew Perry? I don't know. Sort of fake what name. What was her name? <laughs> Not the real person. <laughs> 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 Fucking, the guy with the eyebrows from The Frenchman. Like, that's his wife, right? 
Uh, Eugene Levy. Levy. Uh, Eugene. Yeah, Levy, he's yeah. the Frenchman in, in that. He's like, oh, it's my wife. <laughs> he's so over the top. <laughs> <laughs> he's the translator, but he can't speak any of the languages. I don't know. We're tired of that. <laughs> Are you looking up, Calvin? I was trying to figure out. You guys asked whether it was the Disney movie or the live action movie. I mm. thought they said it was a live action movie. I'm trying to figure out the Pocahontas info. Yeah. Mm. But I thought acting wise and stuff too, like the, who they. I mean, it, it's hard to kind of gauge like how good of a job did you know, Zoe do as this yeah. big blue cat lady, you know? Because sure. like how much of her facial expressions are coming across is also the CGI aspect of it, you know? So it's not necessarily one for one of like, oh man, I feel it, you know? When she's crying. You know, it's, it's still CGI tears that are coming down. They're not, you know, I, I don't know how well she did with the acting of that. But it felt good. It felt mm-hmm. pretty pretty real and whatnot. And I felt like deliveries and stuff, the anger they had made sense. Yeah, I don't know, like, what it is about it. Like, I think part of Jake's performance, he's kind of sleepy. Sure. And he narrates a lot and does, does a lot of vlogs and stuff. Like, I get sleepy and bored when I watch this movie. I don't know why. Like, I, I don't think it's an especially boring movie. No. Sure. But it just, it loses my interest. What happened to Sam It's long. Did. I don't know who he is. Wow. Well, I feel like he was real big for like thought he was years. someone else, and I was wrong. Yeah, yeah you were They specifically wrong. cast like an unknown actor. I think, I, I mean, maybe I get you a little bit, Rick. I don't know. I mean, maybe too. Like, me watching the first time, a lot of it's like I'm trying to, like, okay, what's this? I'm trying to understand it. So, like, my mind's like trying to make sure I'm picking up on what's going on. But, like, in my next watch through, the second watch through, like, Maybe I'd be like, well, I kind of understand the lore a little bit better. So well, and this is or whatever, like a new you know? experience for you. Like, you haven't seen a lot of those other movies, right? Um, which ones? Like Dance with Wolves and Last Yeah, Samurai. no, I haven't really seen that. Princess one, Mononoke. So. And... I watched Pocahontas, the cartoon. And Pocahontas 2. Did you know the two? I yeah. did. Nothing good. good. <laughs> I have heard. <laughs> I think the Aladdin one was my favorite of the, like, sequels. What's that one called? Well, he was Alex Mason in Black Ops. That's neat. Revenge of Jafar. Clash of Titans. You ever hear of like the? He was in Terminator Salvation. The thing I don't get, like, you ever hear of like the Avatar Blues people? Oh yeah. Like, is that real or is yep. that made up? No. It sounds like a viral marketing thing. What are you talking about? Well, the Avatar Blues is a thing where like people were so invested and thought Pandora was so real that they got depressed because they know it isn't. Oh, I didn't. I know. I thought you were talking about the people who like tried to make themselves into these creatures. Oh no, no, no. no. Yeah, because that, that was all over. That the seems internet. undeniable. <laughs> Back then, yeah. No, there's like this claim of like the, um, Pandora and the Navi being such a real focus, like people believing and wanting it to be so real that they like became depressed and that it wasn't real. That it wasn't real. <sighs> well, but I always felt like that. Like sounds like this dumb viral marketing. It, it sounds like uh, Paris syndrome, right? Yeah. Where like What's Japanese that? people go to visit Paris mm. and it's not like the movies and they become so oh. disenchanted that mm. they become depressed. So Paris is not like the movies? Well, it's not like it's depicted. You know, it's... Jackie Chan didn't it fight stinks. one the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> uh, the Awful Tower. Yeah, everyone that's stinks. A, that's Ayla was talking about like Hey, we should go to that one place with the awful tower. Awful tower. <laughs> awful tower. <laughs> uh, we laugh like, yes, yeah, maybe one day we can go to the awful tower. <laughs> no, she, lo- she loves like Fancy Nancy and stuff, and they do like French and Paris stuff. Did you figure out Pocahontas stuff? Yeah. He got inspired to make Avatar watching the, the 95 Disney animated Pocahontas, but he wanted the girl that played Pocahontas in The New World in 2005 to oh, play wow. Natiri. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it... A bit of both. So he it was inspired Mostly by this. Mostly the live action. Though. Well, I was going to say, it, it should be the live action one, because I think that's much older. And you said he wrote this in, like, 95. Mm-hmm. Who did he want to play the Lorax? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this reaction and discussion for Avatar, make sure you subscribe, as we have new movies, like, every week. And you can go and vote over at patreon.com slash blindway for future movies. Mm-hmm. We have a new poll over there, like, every other week. So check out the polls there and the next four movies available over there as well right now.